cool party people and welcome back to the theater and the vlog. <laughs> I'm just upstairs right now checking on this beautiful wall that I painted the other day. It used to be this green color. It doesn't look much different but, different, but I promise you that it is definitely much lighter. I thought I might have to do another coat, but I think it's okay. So in that case, it'll just be cleaning everything up and ripping the tape down and stuff. I usually prefer to rip the tape down when it's wet because it's easier, but like I said, I thought I need another coat, but I think we're okay. So that's exciting. Today, I think, is going to be some more painting and maybe... I don't know. I thought I had to do more painting. We'll see. I'm sure I'll find. Oh, wait. Haha. -ha. I did find more painting to do the other day. I prepped in here. <laughs> oh, the tape's falling off. But this is all prepped because this wall here and this one get pretty scuffed up when dance schools are in here because all the people stretch their legs on here, which is not cool. Anyways, so yes, I do have painting to do and then I have other random things I can do in between. This is one of the other walls I painted. It is beautiful. It used to have weird marks all over it. And then this is the other one. So yes, all very exciting things. I'm just gonna have my breakfast drink and then I'll pop up here. I will double check the wall one more time. And then at that point, I will take off all the tape and clean up everywhere around there. I'm always afraid I'm gonna, I know my head won't hit that wall there, but I'm afraid my camera will and then I duck anyways. Anyways, that's where we're at. I'm feeling awesome and wide awake and like I slept well last night and it's beautiful and it's sunny out. So let's see if I can harness this and stick with this all day. Well, hello, I am home now. It is two o'clock. I got off at like 1.30, but construction there was apparently like an emergency on their site or something don't know what it was but it meant that we had to take the long way home so it took a while to get home still my work clothes because i want to share all the beautiful paint on my pants it's bad it's real bad i also have paint that has seeped through the pants on my thighs but it does not match the color of the paint that is on the pants in that location nor does it match the shape so i'm very confused but that's okay. I am going to make myself some food now, I think. Oh, actually, I'm gonna change first because obviously get my window curtain open because I've got my blackout blinds up, which is nice because it keeps it cooler in here, but I'll get my window open and then I will go make myself some food. I have some leftover steak from last night, so I'm gonna do that with potatoes and onions, I think, because that's a very simple, quick thing to make. And also I had craft dinner earlier for my snacks, so don't want to have pasta again. Although that would be like a good second option. Anyways, I'm rambling now. I'm gonna change and also go this because it is a nice warm day today. Maybe wear some shorts. Yeah. Alrighty, well it is a little bit later. I've tidied up my room quite a bit because my laundry basket was out because I was gonna do laundry yesterday and then I got way too lazy <laughs> and I made my bed. I'm currently waiting for footage to export for my vlog and working on this. I think it's coming along pretty well. I'm still not a hundred percent sold on the up and down part but we'll see and I ate and yeah we're doing all right. I need to edit this vlog pretty quickly if I'm gonna hit my self-imposed 4 p.m. deadline. I'll put it up anyways today though anyway because it's from two days and then I'll probably go clean my dishes from lunch I think tonight is D&D I don't think tonight is D&D I know tonight is D&D I'm gonna be able to go for a little bit go digitally <laughs> um, but I have to cook dinner tonight we're having lasagna so it's not too time intensive but at some point I will have to peace out to go finish cooking and like cook the garlic bread and stuff so when I go downstairs to the dishes, I should probably find out how long the lasagna needs to cook. So that's where we're at. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day outside today. It's 22 degrees. That's amazing. Um, and I've got like the perfect temperature going in here with my fan on and my window open. And we're doing well. And I think I'm going to order a milkshake for the start of D&D, which is like really an excessive cost because <laughs> the delivery fee will probably cost about as much as the milkshake. But that's fine. I really want one. <laughs> In a shocking turn of events, I am still sitting at my desk. 
Shocking, I know. Anyway, it is 4.30 now. Vlog is edited. Vlog is up. I have checked how long the lasagna takes to cook. I washed the dishes. And we're making pretty good progress on this. The marquee is all done. I'm now trying to decide... Focus. I'm now trying to decide if I want to do the doors black because the detailing on the doors is going to be in this color. So if I do a light blue, oh my god, that is so close. If I do a light blue, I just don't think the contrast will be enough. So I was thinking black for sure or maybe like this dark gray. Hmm. I pulled out the dark gray. I don't know. This is why it's so much easier if I just like find a picture. I guess I could look at a picture <laughs> and see if, ah, and see because the front of the theater when you go in there's stairs so I think it's usually pretty dark at the front. You know what it looks pretty dark? I think I'm just gonna go with the black. Yeah. I'm going with black. I might even go with black in the windows too. I think I will. Simplicity. I like simplicity. Yeah, I, I could put colors in there, but I think it'd make it... Okay, we're going all black. We're just going all black. Wait, this is gray. <laughs> we're going all black. I was like, wait, this is gray. And I was like, maybe gray would work. No, just do all black. So that's exciting. I need to probably start cleaning up my desk space here shortly. Because I need to go through... Where is the bag? This bag here, it's got all my D&D stuff in it. My sister-in-law dropped it off, but I need to go through it, see what I need. And what I'll probably do is bring up my little desk table thing and stick it there so I have extra space. And so I can keep working on things like this while we play D&D. <laughs> because honestly, a lot of the time you're just sitting there talking. And so multitasking is a thing that I have been doing a lot of lately. Listen to a book, do some embroidery, listen to a book, do some sewing, watch a binge watch something, do some embroidery, and I'm really enjoying it. Also, I just ordered my milkshake, and then I was like, oh my god, I can't just order a milkshake, so I also ordered half a liter of ice cream. <laughs> so that should be coming here shortly. I don't think I've got an ETA on it yet. They're just preparing my order, so nothing exciting, but very exciting for when it actually gets prepared and delivered. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna continue with the black. We discussed it with the black and um, then the organization after. Yeah. Exciting things have happened in the last like hour. Milkshake for one and two ice cream. <laughs> It was funny because when I was ordering, I was like, oh, I can't justify just ordering a milkshake. And I'm like, I have room in the freezer. So ice cream. And then this is also coming along really well. I really like it with the black. So once I get all the black done, then it's just the details and the little nitty gritty. So that's very exciting. But it's almost time for D&D, I guess. I have my character sheet here. Well, I'm a wizard, so. And then I have a secondary character. And then I got all my dice here and my pens and pencils. It's gonna be weird. I feel like I struggle to pay attention when I'm there and I'm always on my phone. Uh, I pay attention but I'm always on my phone because it's just when there's so many people playing it's just like it goes on and on and on and so at home where nobody can see me am I gonna pay attention at all? I'm just gonna drink my milkshake and embroider is basically where we're at but I should be able to finish this hopefully. And then um yeah, we'll just see how things go. Alrighty, so I ended up ducking out of D&D just after 8 to have dinner. When my mom came home at 7.30, I found out that her boyfriend went to work and I had no idea. I think he was probably in a hurry because he didn't get called in for a normal shift. He like called, got called in a couple hours into a shift. So I think somebody had to go home, but he didn't tell me. And so like I cooked enough lasagna for three of us and he didn't show up. So that was funny, but I left D&D to go eat dinner. And then my intention was to finish eating dinner and come back to D&D. But before I even got upstairs, my phone rang and it was my friend Abby from Ontario, whom I haven't talked to in a couple weeks now. Um, I'm trying to like 
force her to call me more regularly and talk to her and check in with her more frequently because she is a nurse and so I just want to make sure that she's okay and that she knows she has support here um but yeah so we ended up talking for two hours so I just didn't didn't go back to D&D &D. they finished probably an hour and a half or an hour or something before I finished on the phone so that happened and then I started working on my next project I'm doing another one of those maps with flowers but this time I'm gonna do it all I think I'm gonna do it mostly all white with a little bit of blue Santorini blue to be exact because it's Santorini <laughs> speaking of my friend who I was just talking to on the phone she really wants to go to Greece and she's supposed to go to Greece in the fall but so I was like this is the perfect thing to make her and send to her um, also it's our 10 year friend anniversary this year we have never met in person and our plan was always to go to Greece together which is not happening for our 10 year friend anniversary 10 year friend anniversary keep saying that is August 2nd so I figured it'd be nice to make some make that for her just because I know like she's not gonna get to Greece this year and um, also just to commemorate so hopefully it'll turn out hopefully my flowers go better than last time but who knows anyways uh, it is 11.30. I think I'm going to change my jammies, although I'm wearing my linen pants and they're like jammies. Also, I'm realizing that I maybe should have got a size down. Yesterday I mentioned that they were like half a size up. I think they're closer to a full size up. But I got like legs. I got thunder thighs. And so while the hips are like huge, the waist is huge on me, the thighs are pretty good when I'm sitting. So who knows? They're really comfy now. We'll see what happens if I start to lose weight. Um, which hopefully I will lose a little bit with my exercise mat that I haven't used. And um, <laughs> then maybe I can figure out how to modify them before I go to Blind Channel. Or if I'm out of Blind Channel, um, Strudel's mom has a sewing machine. So maybe I can borrow that if need be. But yeah, so I think I'm going to change into my jammies. And I'm pretty awake still. Uh, which is maybe a problem, but I get to sleep in tomorrow, so that's fine. I think I might work a little bit more on... Santorini um, but we'll see I'm also downloading more iTunes I took a break for a while for um, D&D because I didn't want to have audio get lagged or anything but back at it now I think I've got when this finishes I will have seasons one through five of white collar on there so we're making progress it's gonna like I said yesterday it's gonna be a marathon we're just gonna have to keep doing it I think I've I think there's seven seasons or eight seasons of Psych, and I have them all, so downloading all those too, so it's going to take a while, but it'll be okay. Anyways, I've been rambling, I'm going to get into my pajamas, and before I do go to sleep, I will check in one more time at least. Shoot, it is almost quarter to one, and I am exhausted, I am so tired, I just kept working on my embroidery, and I'm listening to my audiobook. Bad me, <laughs> but that is fine. I'm going to go to sleep now and hopefully sleep in decently late tomorrow. It'll be nice. I deserve it. I need it. I've been up too early lately. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure. And I will see you tomorrow when, to be honest, I probably just binge watch Netflix and embroider.